Okay, I've got five o'clock, August 25th, 2022. I'd like to call this meeting to order with a word of prayer by Meredith. We will. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you've provided for us, Lord. And I ask that you join us in this conversation and these decisions. Uh, that you give us the discernment to know when to speak and when to listen. That you got our hearts and how to love our neighbors well and care for this community. I would thank you for the gifts of those who are brought here together. Uh, and that we are able to do all this in the glory of your name. Amen. Man, thank you, Meredith. <clears throat> okay, I see some visitors. Do y'all have anything over there? Anybody? You have anything? Okay. Oh, I might say, I might remember uh, George and his family. Yes, be with George and his family. Um, I went to visit today. Didn't know that until today, so thank you. Be in prayer with them. Also, me. I'm having surgery in the morning. So, all right, Miss Ward, do you have anything to bring forward? I do. I have two things. Y'all want to go over them now, if you want to wait. One's about the detention center, and one is. We can go on and talk about it now you if want you want. To do want it now? To okay. Get it out of the way. Um, the first thing I have that I think you all got copies of is a proposed agreement between the county and the city using inmates. Um, for labor. Justin just sent this to me this morning, so I've been trying to kind of go over everything, but I, I think for the most part, everything that I hear, I'm good with this, the terms and conditions on this. There are a few little things that I want to kind of go over with him and make some small revisions on, but the content, I think, is in good shape. If you all want to go ahead and as soon as Justin and I get a final version, go ahead and give Bo the authority to enter into that. But y'all take a second, look it over, see if you have any questions. The gist of it is, it's still there's no payment to the uh, detention center workers, except Hartford is going to be the one who has to supervise them. So we have to provide supervision within certain rules. They're not allowed inside private buildings, residences, no access to the internet, things of that nature. And then obviously, when they're under our on our work crew, they're under our liability and our insurance. So it'll, it'll fall back on that. But at the same time, uh, if we have, I'm going to work it in here that it wasn't in here that if someone is feeling ill or if they get injured while they're on the work crew, they have to immediately notify the supervisor right. so that nothing happens. And that's one thing I want to make clear in that. <clears throat> and this is... And this... Uh, Agreement falls under any other cities, any other county departments that get it gets inmates. So this this basically is designed for the jail and any any local agreements for anybody to take any of. Does it specify that you have to request so many inmates ahead of time? Yeah, like you have to let them know exactly how many you need and what kind of work duty it's going to be. A lot of it is still going to be somewhat informal, just because from day to day we never right, really yeah. know. And that's not going to be too much of an issue. Yeah, we just yeah. got to have something signed. Well, yeah. And that's just basically all that. On. Well, I haven't read the whole thing through, but I, uh, I wanted I don't to summarize see a problem. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah I mean, most everything is pretty. It's, it's, it's nothing pretty that we haven't. They haven't done in 20, 20 years, so yeah. they're trying to upgrade all that right now. You know, well, that's it's, it's a bad time to put things in writing. That's Take right. Turn it. So. So if you all... Do you, will you need a motion? Yes, if yeah. you'll approve this for when I get a final ver version back from the county attorney, I'll get it to uh, get it to him to sign so he can take it to the fiscal court. I make a motion that we accept this this interagency agreement. I second it. And in Hartford. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like so. Motion carries. I'll get you that final agreement. Justin's at the prosecutor's conference right now. Okay. So back with it. Uh, do you want to go on with the franchise agreement? Yes. Yeah. Uh... And I apologize, you don't have a copy of this in your packet because I just got it at 4 p.m. today. Uh, but the, the, everything that came back closed. So you may have heard and remember in the last couple of years we had representatives from Kentucky Wired come to some of our meetings and talking about the Kentucky Wired project. And if you don't, just real brief, there was a big infrastructure push by the state to put fiber all along down Highway 231. Now Kentucky Wired is the public portion, so the government buildings, the, uh, the library, things like that they have government access to this. 
underneath the same project is a more uh, private commercial arm that can act, that can help with businesses and things that need it, and that is called uh, Open Fiber Kentucky. And Open Fiber has contacted uh, the city, and they, they passed it along to me because what they're going to do is they're wanting to install their fiber system inside the city, and so they need access to the city streets and easements of that things. And so we've been working back and forth to get a franchise agreement to give them the rights and specify what they need. So. I do have this. I can pass it around. There's also included in here drawings of where they're going to install this. And literally just five minutes before I got here, she sent me uh, just their promises. Basically, they're not going to destroy anything. They'll like, give adequate notice. If there needs to be a street closure, they'll work with the city. Uh, they won't destroy any sidewalks or they'll repair whatever is done. They're basically, I don't think they're doing anything but attaching to either existing poles. They have no new construction uh, proposed. But uh, this is uh, going to be a great boon. I know the, uh, the hub for the county is going to be able to sign up for that, and the hospital is really relying on this, too. To be okay, now, are they, those that you have mentioned, when they run it down 231, are they going to branch off to them and them alone, it's, or how does it work? It's apparently already installed along 231, so they're going to have to go in off the state highway onto city street right of to push it over to the new clients, and that's what this is kind of governing, is the authority to be able to do that. And they're going to most likely existing. I think they've worked out agreements with the existing utilities to utilize their poles. So basically, it's just hanging wire. But they're operating under the name of Open Fiber Kentucky. Yes. And who owns it? It's all part of that Kentucky Wire project through the state. I don't know exactly how it's listed or held, but it's subsidized heavily by the state. Well, so are the other ones that are now in court or, you know, bantering back and forth, Kennergy and, and the fiber one over there. I know that Kennergy has opened up a fiber product, and that's going to be to the residences and to the homes. This particular arm, Open Fiber, as part of the Kentucky Wired Project, is they're looking at just trying to be able to service commercial needs, which we have greatly in this area that they can't get what they need. Um, and they're going after commercial and for residential and everything. They're also willing to partner with the ISPs who maybe want to open up and branch out to their own uh, business startup. They're willing to license the use of their backhaul to be able to do that. So, uh, you know. So every layer adds another cost, though. Not to us. To the residents. I, I don't know how the resident have, would have a cost. Well, if they let, let it off to another ISP, there's another layer in there. That's what I'm. Saying. That's nothing with this, though. That's just what I'm telling you, background on that particular business model, how they are, how the private arm of Kentucky Wire is being. Handled. I understand what you're saying, but I'm thinking longer term than that. Okay. Because you've got people in this county and in this city that don't have internet access. Right. And if they get word that, okay, it's going to the hospital, why can't I get it next door? They can if they want to pay for it. And all the cost would be on them. And who's going to bill them for it? All the costs are going to be on who? The resident. The resident will. I can tell you right now, I'm on OCDA board down here, and we're paying them $600 a month to get service. Well, I understand the OCDA board. I'm talking about the residents out here. This is nothing. They're not. This is I know that event. doesn't, but it's coming down the road, Tara. Yeah, but you're and looking I at a different thing. I want some information on that. Well, you can call her. I'll give her your contact information. Her name's Anastasia. She's very sweet. Okay. <laughs> okay. <think> Today <laughs> she is. <laughs> if I may, what, what the Kentucky Wire Project was is they put a 30 miles of fiber all the way down to 31. Right. And what it is is if someone wants to start an internet service provider company, they would have the ability to use that backhaul to provide what they call the last mile of service. So what you're talking about in terms of costs and layers, all it would be is how much is the company getting charged to use that, and then that, that dictates how much they charge the customer. And I understand that's what you're saying, but obviously if it's too much, then no one's going to get it. And people in Hartford here, you've got AT&T, you've got Spectrum. Spectrum. So I mean... They're going to have to do something to compete with global companies. So it's not going to be too big a deal when you're talking about locally. It's out in the county. It's going to be the Wild West. It's who can get it there. Right. And who, a lot of times who can get it there first. But uh, And what you were talking about with Kennergy and stuff like that, for some weird reason, and correct me if I'm wrong, there was some legislation that 
forbade them what? from doing it, and no one really knows why. But uh, they got that. They got it through, though. They got it through. Yeah. So, well, they, but which, they, which is good because, again, you're talking about a giant company that can do some good. So, right, and they've also appealed to the to the uh, Public Service Commission, too. Yeah. Right, and and well, this is so. and this is a little bit different. This is strictly a communication system for basically broadband. They don't offer television. They don't offer uh, gas or electric like some of these others that you're seeing. It's simply the backhaul that they opened up for the commercial side of Kentucky Wired and and the business basically opportunity. And all this is is just basically the right to come in and put their service here in Hartford. And I can tell you right now, I've been called four times from the hospital begging that this thing get passed tonight so they can start their construction and get access to this. So. Do you foresee any negative consequences of going with this? I don't. In fact, I think it's a boon for our city. It means that we get better service and more option. I know people that are already ordered to carry these stuff up in Forestville. <coughs> so do I have a motion on the floor for the franchise agreement? I'll make a motion that uh, we be in favor of the franchise agreement. I'll second. All, right. All in favor say aye. 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 I'll get that to like side. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I have. All right. I skipped over the minutes. So if you got a minute, go over and to check the last reading of the minutes. And when you're ready, I'll ask for a motion to accept the minutes as read. I'll make a motion and we set the minutes as read because I read mine before I got here. <laughs> <laughs> I did I'll check it because I, I did check it. <laughs> I've got a motion. Motion. First and second. second. All in favor say aye. 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 Like side. Opposed, like side. Motion carries. Thank you. All right. Before you have your financial reports, give you a second to go over those and I'll ask for a motion to accept the financial reports as read. I make a motion that we accept the financial reports. I have a first. Do I have a second? I second. First and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like so. Motion carries. Okay. We have on our old business the ditch work. We did go out and look at that today, Paul. Uh, we've got a hold of our, we've made our maintenance aware, and what we're going to do at this time is we're going to straighten your ditch out, and we're going to do some ditch work, um, and then we're going to go all the way down towards 231. We've noticed there's a lot of ditching that needs to be done in that area to keep the flow of water going. And so that's what we're going to take the first step. But we're going to have to do something with that tree, too. That's, that's an issue in itself is what we've all investigated on. Which, one? Which tree? The burn. The, the, burn, the, the burn tree. And yeah. you don't need to lay it over in the ditch because that's not going to help the situation. <laughs> no. So that's going to be our first step. We're going to rip-wrap you all's ditch, too. Go ahead. If we have it removed, you know, do, do you need the stump? Gone too. No, it's just it's it's a danger right now, th falling into the city street. Yep. So it does need to come down, and we just don't. Want so to what we're going to do is we're going to try to rip wrap all that area there, and then we're going to take you all's ditch line and make it true because we can tell that the ditch is not true down in that area. So we're going to try that first, see how that works out, and then we'll go from there to check it out because we're going to go down on the other end by the bank and ditch that out in that area too and rip wrap it up so that was an option was not you know followed but yeah that's cool so that's what we're going to try to do and and then we'll keep an eye on things too and we'll go from there so i'll note though you probably want to get that tree down before they do the work on yeah the so because we're going to rip wrap a lot of that down in there so and probably might jason we might try to go lower a little bit if we can not too much under that tile, but to kind of keep it true, so. Sounds like a plan. Sounds good. All right, thank you. Uh, second, we have to uh, reject the bid on this water tank project that we bid it out for the big tank to cap it out. Um, it was a way over the budget that we went for. And so we just need to sign off on the bid 
rejection. So I'll ask uh, for a motion to reject the bid on the water tank project. I make the motion to reject that bid. I'll second, second it. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Like so. Opposed. Like so. Get that next <coughs> All right. Thank you. Motion carries. Okay. On new business. Um, we have a resolution 2022-03. This is the Ohio County Solid Waste Management Plan. Basically, this is the same plan that we have to go over on the resolutions to accept that we were in compliance with their um, agreements. So I'll just need a, a motion to accept that and be able to sign off on that. I'll make a motion that we sign off on it and accept it. I'll yeah. second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like so. Motion carries. All right. So me being new, wanting to step into things already. Um, <laughs> I've been looking at it. Basically what I'm trying to come up with, and we've got some Christmas lights that we put out every year and some of them are not very pretty pretty and not light they don't I have no light to them. <laughs> For sure. so I've got a proposed budget it's from the Earl Russell era. Oh so God. I've got a proposed budget of 13,000 for the for the light change and that that'll what well, we'll stay we'll stay under that for sure. So, I just wanted to bring that to the table. If I if I can get a motion to accept that, I'd like to have this before December, so we can start working on this. I make, I a, make motion a motion that we accept the thirteen thousand for lights. I second. Really? Okay. So we got a first and second. All right. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Those likes uh, motion carries. Thank you all. And now it brings me down to the uh, um, Hartford events. I want to introduce Meredith Eskridge. This is Meredith over here. She's been she's been hired for our economic development slash community outreach. Uh, Meredith, do you want to? Sure. Speak for uh, a little bit. So, I mean, you all know it's a part time position, and so in that work, uh, my hope is to just celebrate some of the heart that is Hartford uh, and do that through some marketing opportunities and some community events. We do have some things planned. We're trying to, Bo and I both are, what, about the same amount of time into this, but try to hit the ground running with some ideas to try to get some things on the calendar this year. Uh, we're looking to do potentially an event at the Oakwood Cemetery, the Voices of Oakwood, and highlight some of the historical characters who uh, built our community that are buried there. And I've already talked to the courthouse players about getting some people on tap for that, and so we can have uh, tractors and hay rods there. Uh, and have some celebration of the history of Hartford in a fun and unique way, and some Christmas uh, events coming in December where we can get the community back out on the square for the holidays. So looking at kind of doing some seasonal things throughout the year, celebrating the individuals who are in Hartford, people who work, play, or live here, something I'm also looking forward to doing. And so if you have ideas, I'm definitely excited and interested to celebrate what is here. Um, I grew up in a town called Cloverport, which is very similar to Hartford. Uh, but you will have more people willing to step up and help here, and that's what's exciting to me. So I look forward to working with you all, and we do have some events planned, and I let Bo. Yeah. Go. So, thank you, Meredith. So with that, so with that being said, Meredith has come up with an idea to have a Christmas event. What was the date on that? December the tenth. December the tenth. So basically. Okay, right. yeah, she's got it all up. Well, she's got it all here with her. So basically, she's um, what we're looking at is having a Santa, food trucks, tent rental, and marketing and advertising. And the big, the big thing that I, I like is the uh, synthetic ice skating rink. 
So that will bring a crowd in, and this will be a free event for kids, adults to come out, celebrate Christmas. We'll have different, we'll have different stuff going on throughout the day. And for the total, for the total event, and that's not indefinite, but I'd like to set that budget at this. For the total event, we're asking for the ten thousand, and it's basically sixty-five hundred dollars for the synthetic ice skating rink. So, I would like to see if we can move on that and start the advertising to promote this out. And I'd like to have a, in a form of a motion. Would this be coming out of EDC money? Yes, ma'am. EDC okay. money. Yes. I make a motion that we proceed on that from from money. From EDC. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Also, I would include in that that all members of the council here perform the ice skating procedure. Speak for yourself. I want to see you and Mary Bell. 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 I want to see you I guess, Meredith, we need to go on and get uh, the process to set that date. Yes, I would like to. Get so, to the bail while I check this afternoon and liability waivers. I was going to say, make sure we get a waiver. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. That doesn't, con <laughs> that doesn't conflict with Big Names Downtown Stroller. Theirs would be, typically, it is the first weekend. Okay, that's what I thought would be the first week. Uh, second, third. Yeah. Okay. Don't you know? Perfect. So. Yeah. Tent, the sun is Oh, I will. I know. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll definitely do You're that. You're going to decorate the score? Your score. So all in favor? Yeah. Oh, it already looks nice right uh, <laughs> Pose like side. Motion carries. I'm yes, so proud side. of you all. I'm excited to finally do something in Hartford. So thank you. Um, I don't know if it's in the form of a motion. Um, I would like for my family to take on a project of decorating for the fall with the new light post downtown. Okay with uh, hay bales and uh, corn stalks and ribbons and maybe some pumpkins if people don't throw them in the middle of the street. Um, but I would like my girls to take that on a service project for beta if the city would pay for the hay bales and the corn stalks. I don't have that. a problem with that. I don't think that... I don't know the cost on it that. It'll be under uh, the amount, so I think we don't have to have that in the motion. So. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. Sounds good. Go get some hay bales for me when it's time. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> He's like, what did I sign up for? Because you'll find out that's why, why, why I love these people. I mean, you, we're, we're bonded. <laughs> 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 but I'm getting nice around, you know. You didn't tell me. <laughs> Just ask Bobby. Didn't do that. Uh, all right, thank you all on that. Um, so... Some going on down to the new business here. Some of y'all have already been made aware from phone calls from the maintenance and water departments. The first on here is the purchase of the F-250 2012 Ford for $17,900. And I'll need the uh, a motion and second to approve that. I'll make a motion to approve it. Which fund? Just a second. And that'll come out of what? Occupational tax. Occupational tax. Okay. I have a first and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Pose like side. Motion carries. Can we do these? Yeah, why? Well, so we're we can... on my trucks. But you know, I talked to all y'all, and I still come in under what I asked y'all for. So I just need y'all's blessing on the two snow plows. Which they went up a little bit, but I still with the purchase we went with the cheaper trucks, so we come under budget of Thank what you. I asked y'all for. So hmm. they went up since we put one on my truck, just like everything else. But I just need y'all, you know, I know I had y'all's blessing, but I want to wait till they're like this. And also the two trucks to surplus. We swapped one with water. They wanted the blue truck that I had, but I'm gonna these are the two that we need to surplus and put on gov deals and help discuss if you want to put a reserve on them or let them go for a little bit of nothing. I ought to buy that red truck. I need that. That was Lisa's old truck. <laughs> Is that the truck that you have to pop the window to get in? 
Did you have to walk? There was one hard truck we had. You had to crawl through the window to get in it at one time. Oh, well, I had no Plymouth that I carried a war stick with to beat on the battery to start it. They used so. to, years ago, and I'll tell them my age, when Dad and them worked there, they had an old service truck that was, the door was tied together, the passenger side yeah. door was tied together with hay, you know, hay belt. Yeah. String, because, yeah, uh, it's years ago. <laughs> See that, Tony? That's what I've talked to you about, but I, mm -hmm. uh, and that's the two trucks to start plus on the deals. Is that deep here? Yeah. Yeah, the first four is for water, right? The, 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 the F350 is the second one we're fixing to load on to. The first one is the F250, which is made. Oh, okay. The, the bigger truck, the F350. Okay, all right. So you've got two requests from him, the snow plow purchase, and then the. So that'll be a second. That'll be a second reading. That, that'll be in another form of a motion to accept the two plows. So if I have a motion. I make a motion. I second. We got three motions. We'll do the plant and we'll do these. Yeah, we'll surplus that here in just a second. I got a first and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Polls like side, motion carries. And this comes out of. Patient. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Secondly, do we need to do two separate on the surplus? No, or you just do one? It together. Okay. And then, like I said, if y'all want to discuss the reserve later, we you know because it takes a little. I bit think I'll leave that to you, Jason. Okay. But like I said we should get decent the way vehicles are going right now. But like I said, this right here is only got 156,000 miles on. But we we're keeping the other four wheel drive, so we'll have a fleet and be able to. It'll give me four trucks plus the one that water's got now plowed in case something happens to keep the streets clean to keep everything going. If I can just get one more person hired, you know, we're having trouble. And this, now, but. and I will, before we even vote on this other one, I will say after this, I think both departments' fleet will be up for yeah, a while yeah. and we won't have to worry about this issue for a while. So that's one good thing that we yeah, can Yeah, well, that's at. why I want to plow on one of the other so, trucks. Yeah. Then we will be good. So we'll get with this and get. Uh, I'll get with you on reserves on okay. these and all that. I need a. I'll need a motion to surplus the two vehicles. I make a motion to surplus the two vehicles. I second. First and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. All right. The last one on here is uh, F three fifty. It's a 2011 for 18.9. This this will be for the water department. I, they said that Joe was aware of this, so I would see this in the form of a motion to accept the purchase of this 2011 Ford. I make a motion. We buy the 2011 Ford for the water department. Second. Got a first and second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Pose like side. Motion carries, and this will be taken out of where? Occupational tax, I think. Okay. The mayor's salary, whichever. He's got the most <laughs> Yeah. It'll take a while to get to that price. <laughs> Wait here for a second. Remember, hey, we that are the mayor for 10 years. years. <laughs> okay. I want to bring you all up to speed. We had the opening bid process for our two tank, well, I'm sorry, for one tank. This is our 125,000 gallon tank. And basically, we got two bids. One was at 178,000, and that was Sam Estes. And the other one was $139,613, and that is CNS Services. So, if you all want to take a minute to discuss this, and we can have a special call meeting meeting on this later. Who was that guy that's here last month? Which one is he? That's Saint. That's Saint. Uh, so he he's not neither one of these. Oh, he's not. No, he is just that. He's just like our go-to guy to yeah, get everything contact. process rolling and bidding processes. So. This is something that we will have to address. There's there's some pretty big issues that we need to get done. Well, so 
We've been discussing this for a long time. So Maybe if you all want and to move, move forward and make a motion on this, then I'll I'll ask for the a motion on the floor. Well, to, it's got to be done, doesn't it? Yes, to provide the one hundred and thirty nine thousand six hundred thirteen dollars for CNS services for the repairs of the water tank. I make the motion. I will second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Now we've size. got our promotion. That that's going, correct. So yeah. that that'll come out of that. Yeah. Yeah. What what do you what the engineer project project cost? Uh, here you go. That's for the hundred twenty five thousand gallon tank. Yeah, and when he was here telling us about it though, uh, uh, it was a million dollars. Okay. That was for that the was other. for was that was for the other tank. Originally yeah. six hundred thousand. Yeah, that yeah. was the original plan. Two million, right? Okay. <coughs> yeah. Right. That's the bid rejection. Do you need that? Ultimately, we get there. Okay. Okay. So we open the bidding process on uh, Gillespie today for the repair lines and replacing all that line down there for the expansion on the hospital. The winning bid come in, and this is indefinite. So we might have to table this to the next meeting because they got to go through the paperwork, make sure everything, bells and whistles are there. So if that gets back in time, we might ask for a special call meeting because we would likely to try to get this done before they start even going any further. So uh, it was Bobby Luttrell's and son that won the bid at 218115 and that is all Gillespie Street. Yes. What about the paving and restoration? Is the hospital paying for that? That's something that me and you need to discuss. Uh, I knew there was something in sequence. I didn't know if this would... If I remember correctly, when it was proposed of which city streets we were going to pave, they the hospital came and agreed that if we would hold off on Gillespie because of all the construction, they would take care of it at the Thanks. end. Yes, on Gillespie. Okay. Yeah. I want to confirm that though, because they have a new CEO. All right. So, so I want you all to be thinking about this, but you know, this this is something that the hospital will need to provide services at the hospital, and also in that same time, Chris, I talked to Brett Morphew yeah. while he was here. We have a ten-inch line running through Clay Street, and so. Once, once they start this project, they're going to give us another price yes. to start on that project yes. in itself. So uh, that's, that's something that we'll just have to discuss in a special call meeting for Gillespie. And once they get us the okay to approve this, we can go on and go through this. What's, huh? What's the timeline to think? Uh, I don't think they said one. It shouldn't be too long. Tony said they're going to try to be finished by yeah. April. By April, so you know they're going to have to make hay. Well, he said he could probably have it by next week. Okay. So once that gets started, it's going to be a lot harder in the winter months. That's why I'm just trying. Yeah. To make sure so we can. once, probably not next week for me, but maybe the week after that we can have a special call meeting just for that, and so we can get the ball rolling on that one. Okay. Other than that, does any any council members have anything to bring forward yeah. for the body? Yeah, I have. You do. Go ahead. This house down here on Liberty and Walnut that's partially demolished. When's it going to be taken down? Does anybody mean? know? Who uh, owns it? Is one of Burke. Yeah. Okay. Nine big bad Oh, that's uh, Wayne. Oh, the, the one just now, the one oh, that burned down. Okay. okay. They're uh -huh. working an arson investigation on it. Okay. Well, they better check the kids running in and out of the bushes, too. They need they need to get in there and get that cleaned up. Because now, state yeah, don't have arson investigators. Our, our uh, Roger is actually the one working it now. Roger, who? Your police department here. Oh. But they put it down to either state police or us. But that's why that, but I'll, I'll check I'm, with Roger. It, it, it needs to be done. Mm -hmm. We'll also follow up with Wayne, see what processes and yeah well I hate to think about that sitting there mm -hmm. with the way coyotes and raccoons and 
We had a lot of coyotes Fox. in downtown Harper. They're coming in. Gums. They won't be long gums. before they're over okay. across the road. Trust right. me. And night, you can sit out in here. On, oh, yeah, yeah I got a ton right beside me, but I didn't have how far they were going down there. Yeah. Tell they're coming. I want to bring and up right. about the, the fines. You know, Jeff writes these tickets. They get fined. Some people, they just pay the fine and don't clean up. We need to raise them fines to get somebody's attention. I really think, you know, and I know that this, we've had a transition area. We really need our code enforcement boards. Yeah, I would like to, uh, that's something, and that's something that I want to discuss too. Uh, any formed committees, I'd like to try to get people back involved. It, that's currently on the existing boards to host these meetings. Um, so we need to see if Jeff can reach out to the board to have these meetings. Um, and we'll see when these contracts are up on all the others and we can reappoint to kind of get people, more people involved in that. But, uh, and we can look at the fine schedule too. That, yeah. But theoretically, if he issues a citation and they pay the fine, they're still liable for the cleanup or the city can go and abate the nuisance. Yeah, but they don't. Well, can well we ex- that's a problem when I have a board to say, here's a list, go do it. Yeah. Well, can this board address the problem of every moving it to the side yard or to the backyard? Those are all things that we have to have a board yeah, ready. That's yeah, that's what needs to be done. Yeah, if we have our board established and, and there, and we I think the I, orders. I think I might stand corrected, but a lot of the formed committees will be up around 2023. So if 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 the, if the interest is not there, we can reappoint. We can appoint other people for these roles yeah. just to step forward to move all these board and these committees together. So that's something that we can look at. But indefinitely, we'll have Jeff and me and Terrell will discuss it with Jeff also. But that's something to look into, most definitely. Because he, he feels like he's just spinning his wheels, you know. Sure. Well, he after to get the tickets. Well, some people would rather, rather pay the $25 and. There it is. And so if they have to pay 500 they won't do it for and, and that was something he and I were going to discuss. Like I said earlier, I think the plan was to catch up, and then he went off to some training. But now that he's back, there are a few things that can be done. It's just a matter of kind of communicating. But having that board will help. Yeah. yeah. That goes to Marissa. Okay. All right. Thank you all. Um, yes. Uh-oh. I believe it was last month you asked me to go and do a couple of investigations on the burn yes. houses. I did go out there. I did a uh, look at it. I turned one, uh, both of them actually, into uh, waste, a waste manager for them to go out there and see if it is to the point that they can make them clean up and stuff. But I'll let them know that they can't burn any more stuff. Gave them no burn pamphlets of city needs or. Okay. Uh, your recurrence, let me know. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Are we adjourning? I'd like to have a motion to adjourn this meeting. Uh, you got it. I make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> now the honeymoon's over. I oh. second. <laughs> You're coming after you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have a first and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. The motion carries. Thank you all. We're working on your uh, dips across.